What is up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I hope you're all having a great day today. And welcome back to another vlog. Got a very busy day ahead today. A lot of it centered around Christmas decorating and then centered around a lot of editing for the main channel video. First off, Gotta wrap up stuff out in the living room as far as what I've brought down for Christmas decorations. Then I might go upstairs, grab a few more things, and see what I can do out there. But my main focus is to get this organized right over here. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a mess. It's gotta get cleaned up because this is where my tree's going this year instead of me messing up this desk. And last year, literally, my tree was here and I could not do any work and that will drive me absolutely insane if I can't sit down and plan out videos especially the huge Christmas video that I'm getting ready to start filming within the next week plus speaking of videos as I said main channel video I've got a lot of editing to do I've still probably got like a third of the video left to edit so I gotta see if I can get a big majority of that, if not all of it done today. Not rushing it, as I said, I don't wanna rush it. I want it to be, you know, perfect to be the exact vision or almost close to the vision that I originally thought of for this video. But I also don't wanna keep you guys waiting any longer. Literally, it's been an entire extra week since this video was supposed to come out. If it waits a couple of more days, it'll be worth it. However, let's just have a great day. Let's put a smile on our face and Let's just do it. So just wrapped up with the Facebook live stream. I went live about an hour, 15 minutes later than I normally do, just because I wanted to get the vlog started and get some stuff cleaned up. Got the dresser all cleaned up. Got the Christmas decorations down from upstairs. Now I'm gonna get my camera all set up, do a little bit of a time lapse, get some music on, and just get this room looking awesome for Christmas time. Got the tree up. I don't know whether the studio light does better or worse or what looks better. I don't know. But it is up. All I gotta do is finish shaping it and start decorating it. And it feels so much taller than it usually is. Well, that's because it's usually over there.
this is literally how short I am right now compared to this tree. This tree's only three feet tall. Sorry if I'm a little too close to the camera. But because of this dresser that it's on top of, it's a pain in the butt and my arms are tired from just reaching up to decorate the top branches. So, to put the star on, I'm actually climbing a friggin' ladder, which I shouldn't have to. Only thing left to do is add the garland to the tree and then decorate underneath and around the sides and it's really be good on the tree itself. All together learning about a history Love and kindness we all need a family Together in my favorite season Let's do it for the right reason Oh, I wish that it would never end Christmas time on its way up And now, after a couple of hours of work, I am finally all done with the Christmas decorating. Also, got a little bit of organization taken care of in here. I just run, had to run things back upstairs as well. But I absolutely just love this display this year, especially where I have the tree. Like, where it was last year was great, but I can do so much more with it now that it's over here on my dresser. And, like, it just puts me in such a great mood. Like, like Christmas makes me so happy every single year. And it's just, like, one of my favorite times of year, other than the St. Isaac Jones Youth Conference. Another thing that I'm really happy about is to start working on the Christmas short film. Like, it's going to be amazing. This room is definitely going to be a main focus to the short film, plus anything that gets decorated out in the living room, plus outdoor, plus you know, throughout the neighborhood and businesses, whatever I can film to really put forward the vision for that film. Like, ah, like, I am so just smiling from ear to ear, overjoyed, excited, whatever the words I want to use are, just about the Christmas season itself and about this short film that I'm going to hopefully be putting out on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day that is still yet to be determined. And now after all that work Christmas decorating, it is time to finally sit down for dinner. We have got some pork chops here with shake and bake, some au gratin potatoes, and sweet corn to top it all off. So wrapped up with dinner a little while ago, just been sitting and relaxing, but, but about to make a cup of hot chocolate real quick, head into my room, grab my Bluetooth speaker and everything, grab my phone chargers, and get ready because in 15 minutes, I'm going to be going on the Friday night hard as nails call, as I always do. Hopefully this week we're actually going to get some missionaries, and I think we're also singing the chaplet again this week, which is going to be awesome. I might try to throw a little sneak peek in there of us singing it. I am not 100% sure yet, but I will make that decision when it comes time. I've been following your trail, you don't hide it well Yeah, I should have played it safe, kept my eye on you But I did it, now your venom's in my bloodstream Yeah, you got me exposed, then you dug deep Ooh. Cobra, Cobra, cold-blooded, no love I let you in, shed my skin so in the process of all of that I managed to somehow burn my left hand just on the thumb conveniently the hand that I hold the camera with it's not too bad it's sort of irritated a little bit but it, it doesn't sting anymore it stung for like five seconds and went away like I did my normal thing that I've been doing this year and warming up milk and I wanted to make it a little bit hotter and I made it scolding hot and the cup was so bad that I had to get oven mitts and put it under cold water like freezing cold water just to get it to actually cool down probably not the brightest idea in the world and the milk also smelled horrible after I warmed it up for like a minute and 30 so I decided to do the more conventional way that I've always done it my entire life when like I've ever gone to an event at like church or when I was in Boy Scouts where it would literally be hot water, boiling water, and then if you wanted milk, you could add a little bit of milk. You don't make the entirety of the drink milk along with obviously the drink mix. But I had to have, you know, my own unusual way of doing things. Back in the room, got the Bluetooth speaker all hooked up. Finally, time to jump on this Friday's Hard as Nails call. You didn't want heaven without us. So Jesus, you Separate us now. What a wonderful name it is. 
just wrapped up with the Friday Night Hard as Nails call and unbelievable. Tonight was probably the best call that I have been on so far. Just the missionaries that came on. We were like literally losing hope that we were going to get any missionaries. And then at like quarter to ten, a couple of them came on and one in particular, his name was Luke, was just so on fire with the Holy Spirit tonight and I, I loved it. His advice to everybody, including me, about things in our lives was just on point and it's just like so good like a lot of the advice that he gave me was based on stuff that I talked about in yesterday's vlog and that was being productive in life and making use of my time he gave me that advice to really get it in my head drill it in my head that I gotta be more productive with the time that I'm given during the day and not let my hands become idle and go and create my passion and make something awesome which is basically what I drilled into you guys in the vlog last night or yesterday, whatever word you want to use there, but it rains true. So this week coming up is a definite change. You know, getting out, going and doing photo shoots. I literally just got done before I started this shooting photos of the Christmas display. I think I've taken almost 50 photos tonight of just this Christmas display and over here. And I'm not done. I'm probably going to take more of them. I want to take some photos in front of it. I still got that crazy Instagram photo shoot that I want to do with the Christmas lights, with the Santa suit. I want to get out and I want to explore and I want to really create something. Like, I want to take my passion for photography and videography and music and create it, obviously, into the 126 brand. And that is where this advice is going to help me the best. And you know, it's some food for thought for you guys. And it's continuing on. I guess this is like a part two to yesterday's quick tip, you know. Use your time wisely. Go out, use that time that you're given, and make your passion a reality. I've talked about stuff like this in the past, finding your passion, but it all comes down to, can you make it a reality? Can you make something out of your passion? Can you create your passion from where it already is? So that is pretty much gonna wrap it up for today. I gotta get this edited. I still gotta upload yesterday's vlog, which I'm really sorry about that. And I gotta get up early in the morning because I gotta go to work and get as much done as possible so I don't gotta work Sunday and then I can rest before church on Sunday, which is gonna be awesome. So that is pretty much gonna wrap it up for today. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching because I really do appreciate it. I wanna welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now. I love it that you found my videos and I hope that you come back for more. If you enjoyed this and you so desire to slap a like on it, don't forget to turn those post notifications on down below so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel. Also, while you're down there, click that big red subscribe button so that way you get subscribed to all of the awesomeness that MJC Vlogs is. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another brand new a daily vlog. Remember to stay awesome, keep smiling, you're beautiful, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. I think I'm falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side.